So today I'm going to show you how to create loops, uh, create arrangements and productions very, very quickly, uh, literally with like five clicks. We're going to use Splice Bridge. Now I'm very aware that most people, some producers, they like to make their own sounds. They like to take a lot of time creating a lot of atmosphere with their different instruments, which is completely fine. This is for those who just want to get ideas flowing quickly, kind of get a feel of what they're doing and jump straight into a session. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay guys, so I'm going to walk you through this. I'm not going to do like a quick 30 second one where you kind of get an idea but it's too fast. I'll show you. So on Logic, you're just going to open your instrument track and in your insert you're going to put Splice Bridge. Now you have to press play at this point for Splice to start playing in cohesion with your BPM. Okay, so you're going to press play. Now if I go on to Splice, I'm just going to find a nice sample. Um, I'm going to come back to that. Let's start with a guitar. Let's find something nice down here. Okay, so that's kind of cool, kind of emo trappy, but it will do for now. So we're going to drag it in like so. Now that's, that's instantly going to link to your BPM. That's going to be at 120 BPM, okay? Anything you put in here will, will sync to 120. So now we've got that, we'll find something else. So there you see, you have like a little idea going there. You might notice as well, wh whatever you're choosing, it's transposing itself to the key of the song that you want to make. So you can be you can be changing the key all the time. You can be finding samples you like and thinking, oh, I want a different key. That's the power of Splice Bridge. That's what it does for you, okay? Um, you can get a bit lazy with Splice Bridge. Don't get me wrong. You know, I could easily sit here and create and arrange a whole track using Just Loops. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, that espresso song, Sabrina Carpenter, I've heard that was just loops. So there's definitely a way around it. I mean, I'd always recommend kind of changing it up a little bit, maybe doing your own process and give it your own touch. But that was just a little walkthrough for you on basically the power of Splice Bridge. You know, I only came across this recently myself um, and it can really spark some ideas if you're ever struggling for inspiration. So I hope this video helps and you enjoyed it. Um, for more tutorials, videos, or to book a one-on-one -on -one session with myself on more than just Spice Bridge, obviously, uh, please click a link in my bio.